Recently, residents and shop owners at Okobaba Wood Market in a Bute Meta area of Lagos State lost their homes and businesses to fire. It's one disaster too many in recent years. Here's the report detailing how the state government's plan to relocate the market is unfolding. Before the fire of the 5th of January, this was what the Kano and Colt streets in Okoba Waterfront Wood Market, Ebutemeta, looked like. But what is now left afterwards are ashes, smoke, some remnant of what looks like the engine once used at sawmills, and some materials good enough for the scavenging business. There are many sides to the cause of the fire, which reportedly started at about 11 a.m. and engulfed over 500 shops and unspecified number of residential shanties. Although emergency management officers were on ground to contain the spread of the fire, but not until many residents had been rendered homeless. <laughs> Even their shrines were not spared. The people affected are many. We have as many as 300 to 500 shops and an uncountable number of residentials. There are various degrees of loss. I lost at least 3 million naira. I had four stores and I just got some money. For this man, his credentials are among the valuables lost to the fire. All the efforts we make to rescue our things are all in vain, are all in vain. We couldn't rescue even anything. So as we are now, we are left with our burnt pan, or burnt nails. That, those are things we are packing. We don't have anything again. My own room, I don't know for others. In my own room, I had a, my set of electronics. I have my certificates because I'm a graduate of Redeemers University. I have my certificates in there. I have, my, my wife is pregnant and I have a lot of um, uh, babies, uh, things there. So and everything is gone now. The cost of house in this country, Nigeria, especially Lagos, is very high. We can't even afford to get a room. So that is why we just came here to manage ourselves. So if the government is going to help us, they should please help us with an housing solution. We have our works, but we need somewhere to at least after work to rest our head. So they should help us. If they are going to build this place for us and we'll be paying the government back instrumentally, we are, we, I personally myself, I can afford that. But for me to just pack 400000 to give to someone for a room in Lagos, I don't have that. So if, if the government will help us, they should help us with housing. Perhaps the greatest are the shelter for these people who say their most available alternative is sleeping under the open sky, at least for the night. We have teachers, doctors here who live for their homes at month end. We are saddened by what has happened. They are still looking forward to help wherever it may come from, particularly in the interest of their children. The Okoba Wood Market and Sawmill is one of the biggest in Nigeria and accommodates over 2,000 sawmill traders and operators. Sadly, fire outbreaks have been a regular occurrence at various sections of the market. The Lagos State Government had consistently made promises to relocate the market to a more suitable place. The new location, Timberville in Agbowai, Korodu, is not yet ready. But this eyewitness video of a recent visit by officials of the Ministry of Physical Planning and Urban Development shows that the road leading to the site is under construction. The Lagos State Commissioner for Information and Strategy, Binga Motosha, speaks more on this. 
Every year we have had to cope with that. And I, I, the government feels in its wisdom that there is no point allowing Okubaba to stand the way it is. I mean, it's a nice saw. You look at it all the way from Thor Milan Bridge and see how dirty the environment is and see that the kind of business that they are doing there is not the kind of business that should be doing so close to uh, the Thor Milan Bridge, a very critical uh, uh, facility like that. And the government said, okay, we are going to move you. Every year the government has been trying to move them, they will not agree. But finally they have agreed to be moved and they said first quarter of this year they will move. But like you have observed, it's a yearly ritual of uh, tragedy. And then that yearly ritual of that tragedy has occurred again this year. It's unfortunate and I hope that this is going to be the last time and that the people will agree to be moved. We are there being moved to in uh, k 2 engineering. Everything is set there. Accommodation, where they be doing their business. The only thing that is left is the road. And the road is being worked on. As I speak with you now, contractors are there, they are building the road, they are fixing it. So that everything there will be very nice for them. Beautiful estate, beautiful uh, environment for them to do their work, conducive environment for them to run their machines and all that. And nice accommodation for them to stay. We have, uh, since the coming of uh, Mr. Baide Sonwolu, the governor, we have uh, employed uh, persuasion to let them see the merit of their movement to K2 engineering. And families, leaders of uh, the businesses there, they have agreed to move. It's only a matter of time for the planned relocation to happen. The Lagos State Government says it is leaving no stone unturned in ensuring seamless operations of the sawmillers in their new location. <laughs>
who describes it as a national disgrace and an eyesore. He says while the front of the building is well maintained and guarded, the back of the building is more or less a dump site and toilets. He calls on the management of the bank to do the needful and save its face. Thank you for those images. We do appreciate your efforts. That's where we draw the curtains on this edition of the program. See you again next week. I am Yomi Otaibi.